Good man, good man. Sorry, I didn't ever got back to you yesterday. We were just up the walls this week with the storms and everything. John Murray is my name. We run a haulage company. started working for my father when I was uh, in 96, as soon as I was 18 and got the licence. That's all I wanted to do was drive. I still all I want to do is drive, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> my experience in everything is you're always struggling at this job, always. If it's not one thing, it's another. You have either huge insurance costs, you have huge diesel costs. When your cost seems to be low, there's a sort of a recession and the work is very small. Uh, every, there's always, always something again. Yeah. Uh, wages, is a, uh, wages has gone up big time. Fuel is out of the question now. Something very has to happen, I don't know what, but can't last much longer. Hey Kieran, how's it going? I'd probably take 5,000 litres though, but I don't know what way it'll, no, I can wait or I don't know if it'll go up. What, what price is it at now? Like? What, 59? Fucking hell. No, that sort of price, I'll, I'll leave it another few days and see what happens. It's not going to make much difference if it goes. Yeah, no, it Yeah, no bother. So, so I'm going to take so, so. At the minute, like I'm running, probably I have 12 of my own trucks. I have two hired in and I have a few subbies. So I'll probably run about 18 trucks and about 50, 60 trailers. So it's. <laughs> Yeah, but the phone rings here and somebody say, how is such a trailer getting on where I have to know on the top of my head where that trailer is, how it's getting on, what time he has left, or what time he can be there, or what ferry it's going on. Now, I think in the last two weeks, it wasn't that bad until lately, but probably in the last two weeks, I've been woke at about three o'clock in the morning, or some time, we're going to say between one and two, at least every second night, <laughs> at least. <laughs> including last night. It's a problem that happens in the middle of the night, you just have to deal with it. Uh, predominantly at the minute now, Sherberg, Dublin, Sherberg, Grass Lair. Uh, so the Grass Lair, Dunkirk. That's a weather dependent, that's when you get bad weather, it causes huge, huge problems. You have to try and outsmart everybody else and try and get them on different ferries that somebody else didn't think of. You have to just try every aspect. It's because customers, they understand, but they don't. <laughs> they don't understand, especially we're dealing with customers in I say UK, Holland, Belgium, but they think it's very cancelled, okay, it's a problem and you can do about it. But they don't realise is that when one ferry doesn't leave France, that it's not in Ireland the following day to go back. So it's not there the following day. So you're looking at days, whereas they think it's a bit like UK, France, where there's a ferry every two hours. One cancelled, that's fine, there's another one in four hours. But in our case, the one cancelled, okay, there'll be another one in four days. Questions are very simple. You know. Multiple choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you run a transfer? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I try to. <laughs> I'm Mike Callahan, transport manager here at J. Murray Transport. I've been here since July 2017. Previous to that I was five years with another company from Kilkenny based just doing Irish work. I was generally tipper work. Previous to that I'd done three years in college in Limerick to get degree in transport managing and um, that's basically my history in the transport industry. Basically transport manager is I do the day-to-day -day running of the company here basically organizing the drivers their loads booking the boats that's the general day-to-day -day running things and aside from that then small bit of driving myself just filling in the hours that lads will be on breaks and that and uh, that's about the height of my role here. For example, say general load of mushrooms that we do we do every day of the week. But I do, like I said, at the in the morning email come in where the collections are. So I just have to work out the times, what time we can make the collections at, that factors in that we'll be on time for the boat in the evening. So I'd have all that organised and all the planning done for that. Other days then I'd have to go off maybe and load it. And if it's a complicated load, then I'd meet the driver that would be going on to England with it. Could meet him in the afternoon. After that then, 
having it booked correctly on the ferry and with the new protocols for going into the UK, seeing the left Europe, there's a bit more paperwork involved there. So I have to do that then in the afternoon or evening and then just make sure the truck gets on the boat and I go home and go to bed and hopefully he gets there in the morning. <laughs> Generally, like I said, we've a load of mushrooms which goes in uh, refrigerated trailers. They go to the UK every day of the week. We do have uh, lamb, which is um, on hooks. It would be fresh lamb, freshly processed lamb, um, which goes out to markets in Brussels and down to Rungis, the meat market in Paris. Other than that, then we have flat trailers which are in with a contract with a uh, local company in Longford that um, they produce your timber framed house with an uh, aluminium frame instead of timber. So we do have flat trailers tied into that and they're generally going every day of the week. We have curtain ciders that go down to Spain once a week. And um, after that then, like it's generally refrigerated transport from three or four other big companies in Ireland out to mainland Europe, go up everywhere furthest we generally go at the minute is Prague, we do be down north of Italy and like I said down to Spain with the curtain ciders and um, other than that then coming back we've recently got a contract with UPS for basically their parcels back from Paris back to uh, Dublin every day of the week and we also have a similar contract with UPS from a place called Hearn and near Dortmund in Germany back into Dublin so that's uh, generally keeps us busy. <laughs> Would I ever I probably would. I don't know what it is. I just, I, I've always liked this. It's sort of been in my family one way or another since I was knee high. I've been pictures of me sitting on steering wheels of buses when I was two, like. So it's just something I've always been in, been around. I know I'd like for art to do a different job. It would be something in the transport industry. Probably a little bit less stressful than what I'm doing, but yeah. <laughs> it, uh, it would be something like that, yeah. I'm quite in one of these yokes. Better answer that. Yeah.